sectors of a circle. We have a circle here with radius r and we have an angle theta. And we are asked to find this area here. How would we solve for that area? Well, we call this area a sector. It is a sector of a, cir of a circle. So how do we solve for the area of a sector? So let's write our area here. And so the area of a sector is part of the area of the entire circle. So let's start there with the area of the entire circle. That would be pi r squared. So pi r squared is the area of the entire circle, but we only want the area of part of the circle. So how do we find the part that we want? Well, it's going to be a fraction, and we know a fraction is part over whole. So how would we find the fraction? So we use our angle theta here. So let's write theta. But what is the whole? If theta is a part, what would be the whole? What would be the angle around the entire circle? And let's write that in degrees, so 360 degrees. So to find the area of a sector of a circle, you take the area of the entire circle and multiply it by a fraction that represents just a part of the circle. So it would be pi r squared times theta over 360. What if we had it in radians, though? We would have area is equal to pi r squared and then we would have our theta, but what would we divide by? If our angle is in radians, our total number of radians in a circle is going to be 2 pi. And 360 is equal to 2 pi, so both of these would be equivalent and solve for the same thing. It's just this is in radians, this one right here, and this one is in degrees. So now that we have two formulas to solve for the area of a sector of a circle, let's do some examples. Here we are given a circle with radius 6, and we are asked to solve for the shaded area here. So we see our angle is pi, and it's in radians, so we have pi radians, and we're asked to solve for the yellow sector here. So this is simple, we just plug it into our, this equation here, because we're in radians, so let's do that. We have area is going to be equal to pi times 6 squared multiplied by pi over 2 pi. So we can write down pi here, and then 6 squared is going to be 36. And then pi over 2 pi, we can cancel the pi's, and we'll have 1 over 2. So that's going to be 1 half. So what is 36 times 1 half? That's 36 divided by 2, that will be 18. So our final answer is going to be 18 pi. So the area of this sector is 18 pi. So here we are given a circle with a radius of 15, and we are given this angle, 60 degrees, this angle, theta, and we are asked to find the area of this yellow shaded region and round it to the nearest hundred. So I know that's a lot of information, so let's break it down. The first thing to notice is that we are solving for the sector of a circle. So we know that we're going to need one of these formulas. The second thing we can see is that this angle here is in degrees. So we know we're going to need this first equation here. Now we need to solve for our angle theta, because that is the only missing piece of information to, just, to plug our values into the equation. So let's solve for theta. It seems that 60 and theta are supplementary angles, which means they add up to 180 degrees. So to solve for theta, we can subtract 60 from 180. And that's going to be equal to 120 degrees. So theta is equal to 120 degrees. So now that we have all of our information, we can plug it into our formula. So area is going to be equal to pi times 15 squared multiplied by 120 
divided by 360. So let's continue to simplify this. We'll have pi times 15 squared. 15 squared, if we put it into our calculator, that is 225. So 225, and then we multiply by 120 divided by 360. We, do not, we don't need a calculator for this, we can just cancel the zeros, and we see 12 over 36. 12 and 36 are both divisible by 12, and if we do that, we will get 1 third. So now we just need to multiply all these together. So what is 225 multiplied by 1 third? That is 225 divided by 3, and if we put that into our calculator, we will get 75. So our final answer is going to be 75 pi, but we were asked to evaluate it and round it to the nearest hundredth. So what is 75 times pi? 75 times pi is 235.619. So let's round that. It would be 235.62. And that's our final answer. The area of this sector here is 235.62. So now you know how to solve for the area of a sector of a circle.